So we walked across the parking lot to the building and and she explained as we walked over there this this is the skating rink and this is the curling rink that's attached and wondering okay what's going on here so we get into the what was the curling rink and it's been converted into a shop literally from one end uh, a machine shop to welding to uh, to mechanical to carpentry and then in the back uh, what well, used to be the front of the curling rink uh, cosmetology and just, I mean, you don't know, recognize the size of a curling rink, probably a three-sheet curling rink. Now it's, you know, it's a shop. And for a small community like Creighton, uh, it was really quite amazing to see, and they were all proud of it, and the students spoke highly of it. But uh, I guess what's key there, and what we saw as we traveled around the province quite often, was that a, a teacher, an individual, would see an opportunity and find a way to maximize on that. And in this case, it was approaching the town uh, through the school board with the school board support and saying you know rather than uh, take that curling rink down or use it for something else why don't you give it to us and I'll turn it into a shop. I mean it sounds simple but there was more work behind it obviously and through some work uh, the town said yeah why not so they uh, gave it to the school and then from there They've developed uh, partnerships with the uh, Hudson Bay Mining and Smelting, uh, providing uh, materials. And they showed us a concrete example of a pallet of steel. And the teacher estimated it's valued at $3,000 that you know, Hudson Bay Mining and Smelting drove up one day and said, can you use the steel you know, for welding and for the machining? And of course, uh, and I think one of the local uh, uh, Car, uh, I, don't, I don't know if it was a dealership, I might have been a dealership, but uh, a local mechanic taking students in to uh, you know, assist them with their interests in mechanics. And uh, anyway, just amazing to see in a small, relatively small school, an isolated community, uh, the ability to come together with the community and say, you know, we can actually do something more for our students. And yeah, it was uh, quite amazing to see.